Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and you're tuned in to Madden 18 on EA Sports. We've got two corners on the field today who are hoping they get a chance to create a big play on defense. It's the Chiefs going up against the Chargers. With that, it's time to hook up with our commentators in the booth as we turn it over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Larry, we are a little less than 20 miles from downtown Los Angeles at the StubHub Center in Carson. I'll tell you, you wouldn't think 30,000 people could make this noise. That's half the size of a normal NFL stadium. But this is no normal crowd. They are ready to go as their Chargers get set to match up with the Kansas City Chiefs. And a welcome in, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gauden, and Charles, so much gets made about offensive comparisons. Here's a matchup where the defenses may just take center stage. Yeah, we're usually talking about guys scoring touchdowns. How about the guys who prevent them and change the momentum of the game when they take the ball away? I love those ball hawks in the secondary. People after my own heart. It's an Indian summer afternoon, perfect conditions for football, and off we go on EA Sports. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Alex Smith has Kansas City off to a 2-0 start. Here he comes bringing the offense onto the field, and maybe that 2-0 start quiets some of the Mahomes talk that may have been happening earlier. That and Alex Smith's ability to throw the ball downfield in 2017. He is making plays that many people thought he was either hesitant to do or just didn't have in him. Well, he's got weapons to throw it to now. Tyreek Hill out wide, right? Chris Conley can throw it to downfield. Travis Kelsey makes big plays from the tight end position. And Kareem Hunt, the rookie running back, can catch it out of the backfield. But there's no more confident quarterback in the NFL right now than Alex Smith is. They go play action here on first down. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Starters here for Kansas City. And one guy who wasn't a household name a couple weeks ago, but everybody knows him now, Kareem Hunt. Well, he certainly is a household name. Let me put it to you this way. As you said, no one really knew him going into the season, right? 246 combined yards against the defending Super Bowl champion New England Patriots on opening night. Then he comes back with a 50-plus yard touchdown run against the Philadelphia Eagles week two. I'm on the plane headed home after the game, and I look across the aisle. Two people are wearing number 27 Kansas City Chiefs jerseys with Hunt on the back. Oh, yeah, he's becoming a household name in a hurry. The Connelly's got it over the middle. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. second down that goes down as a loss against his rushing stats but really should he have to absorb that one he had no chance on that play before they overwhelmed him pretty much on top of him before he could take his first step second down and a little ways to go here second and 13 they run again with Ware. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. He'll wind up getting 11 on that one. And that's going to bring up a third down. Look, the first down marker is out there, but sometimes it's hard to find for an offense when they're in a long yardage situation, which usually means throw the football. In this case, they went against the tendency and ran it. And boy, the reward was there. A big, big pickup. And guess what? It's now third and very short in order to try and pick up a first down. Third and two, Smith. 
caught. Kelsey, left side. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. The Kansas City first. Smith fighting his fellow pro bowler, Kelsey. Nice job keeping that opening drive alive. And they're in plus territory, that part of the field where you really want to convert on third down. They did. Big-time pickup for them. And now, I think the aggressive play callers think to themselves, this part of the field, I take my shot at the end zone. Because the closer you get to the end zone, the field can, gets condensed. Makes it a lot tougher to run those routes. You still got a chance to actually run past people right now. Take your shot at the end zone early in the down and distance count. On the ground, this is where. And he only manages a couple here down to about the 38-yard line. Time quickly to look at the Chargers defense. 2016, the Chargers defense had its moments. They were ranked 10th against the run. Overall, total defense, though, they were 16th because they struggled a little bit against the pass, but they had a number of injuries, and they expect those guys back this year and expect to be an improved unit overall. To throw on second down to Smith. Caught here by Conley. That catch good for five. It's third down. It's been a seven play opening drive and this is third and short. Now it's Smith off the bootleg. And that is incomplete. You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short, they elect to throw for it. And that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short, but you've got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. Here's Cairo Santos now for the Chiefs field goal. This is a 49-yard attempt, right hash. And Santos able to put this one up and through. It's good. And the Chiefs are out to a 3-0 lead. A little bit of a lower trajectory there on the deep kick, and it worked. Had to do it because he had to drive it out low because of the length of the kick. Able to do that, got it above the defense and over the post. the made field goal Santos back out there to kick it away this is taken at the three and he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22 yard line Philip Rivers and company hoping to dust off their week two loss to Miami and you know something bad followed San Diego to LA and that is close losses. The Chargers have lost 10 one possession games since 2016 by far the most in the NFL. There's no way you can even calculate that. 10, 10. since 2016. Yeah. And another one this past week. And the problem with that is when you get into those pressure key situations when you have that much baggage attached to your team you don't think you're going to find a way to win. You wonder what's going to happen that will cause you to lose again. They've got to find a breakthrough, and they need it soon. A first down throw here for Rivers. And this is caught. First catch for Keenan Allen. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. This is how things look to start for the Chargers. The guy we want to give love to is Antonio Gates. Touchdown number 112 in week two on a short pass in the third quarter. Broke Tony Gonzalez's record for a tight end. And this is a record that's not just longevity. You know, you don't get this record just from hanging around. You get this record by producing. Tony Gonzalez did, now Antonio Gates. And I think the Chargers are being very smart with him down the stretch. He's almost become a designated pass catcher, only coming in in key situations and still putting the points on the board. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Williams. 
And all the way inside the 35 before he goes out of bounds. It's a big one there for the Chargers. 41 yards. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that will drive a team towards a victory. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Now a play fake here on first down. Over the middle, he's got Tyrell Williams. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15, just shy of the 10. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Well, clearly one of his advantages as a passer is his height, sit back in the pocket, fired over the middle. That makes things tougher defensively, doesn't it? It really does, because your goal is to move the quarterback off his initial spot when he gets his drop back completed. But when you have that type of height, he can stay in there. If he's willing to take the hits and just fire over the top, which saves him time and actually completes a play a little bit quicker than it normally does for a quarterback has to slide and find open space to throw. They'll run. This is Melvin Gordon. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Melvin Gordon taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Chargers have taken a first quarter lead. And they're able to run it in. It started with a battle in the trenches. They won there, and they got in for six points. And that's going to be a tough one for the defense to deal with. They've got to go to the bench now and figure out how we're going to slow down this running game because on that particular play, they had no answer. Josh Lambeau now for the point after. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. So that drive, four plays. And it's capped off by a touchdown run coming from Melvin Gordon. Lambeau out to kick this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. And out come the Chiefs now. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, he's looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it. So those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. And they still need eight yards for the first here on second down. From the gun, here's Smith. He's going to float this one deep right side. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. What I loved about meeting with these coaches before the game is we didn't even have to ask any questions. They told us that they were going to be aggressive and push the ball downfield. They weren't successful on that play, but look for them to try it again later. Going on third down, Smith. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. Denzel Perryman 
with a big time sack on third down. And it'll be a loss of seven. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. On fourth down, on is Dustin Colquitt to kick this away. Back deep for the Chargers, Isaiah Burse. Taken right on the 30. It's a net of 40 there. A punt of 48 and a return of eight. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. The Chiefs defense getting ready to roll. And a touchdown given up the last time they were out there. So maybe need to refocus a little bit. And make sure that they don't start finger pointing with each other. Because oftentimes when a touchdown's given up, you say, okay, where did that happen? Who broke down? Who gave it up? Instead, just go back out there, be a unit again, and try and play a little bit better. Yeah, see if they can play a little bit better on this drive. They'll start on the ground. This is Gordon on first down. And he'll take this up over the 40 to about the 41. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. And a glance now at the Chiefs defense. Ranking 24th overall in total defense is not something that excites Kansas City, but they offset that in a big way in 2016. They forced 33 turnovers, which led the league by three, and ended up plus 16 in turnover margin, which tied for first in the NFL which helped lead them to a playoff run. They keep it on the ground again, Gordon. And the play goes nowhere, losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. It'll wind up being a loss of two, and that'll lead here to a third down. Well, the person carrying the ball is always the easy target when things aren't going so well, but I think it's a combination with the Chargers. They've got to get the offensive line going in order to improve those numbers from last year. They weren't very good running it, partner. No, they were bottom of the AFC, second to last in the entire NFL. On third down, Rivers. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. Give him eight on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. On to punt, Drew Kayser, second-year man from Texas A&M. Tyreek Hill back deep for Kansas City. And not what he was hoping for there as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Fake the handoff. Now Smith. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Tyreek Hill that time. And that'll bring up second down. Unable to connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. Throwing again, Smith. And his 
throw is going to be incomplete. Albert Wilson, the intended receiver there, and it's third down. The Chiefs on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. Throwing is Smith. He's going to go for a big play downfield. It's caught inside the 25. And he does take it in for the touchdown, but a flag on the field, and I don't think this is going to stand. Yeah, don't put the points on the board just yet. Would have put him in the lead, but hold that thought. Yeah, the celebration had to stop, didn't it? Because now you're on a real uptick. You're in the lead. Instead, you're still behind. Have to find a way to regroup. The Chiefs on third down. Just one for three thus far. This will be third and a mile. A shotgun snap for Smith. And Escobar has it left side. And he'll be just shy of the 20 at the 19 as he goes out of bounds. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. Here's Dustin Colquitt now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt, and that will come the offense as they take over. Charles, let's pivot for a second here. Got a moment. Toughest division so far certainly seems to be the AFC West, right? I mean, you have three undefeated teams. And we thought that going into the season, if you rank the toughest division of football based on last year's records and who they would play, the AFC West shows up as number one. And so far, they're handling it pretty well. Kansas City's 2-0 and and beat New England on the road on opening night. Oakland Raiders went to Tennessee, a trendy pick in the AFC South to win the division. Beat them on opening day. They're 2-0. And the Denver Broncos behind Trevor Simeon and that great defense also off to a 2-0 start. To throw is Rivers. Able to fight through one tackle. And the Chiefs are going to get him. Justin Houston from that outside linebacker spot. He's able to get in there for a loss of nine. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. Second down, they'll run with Gordon. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. It's a loss of two, now third down. And that play was vintage Derek Johnson. Made a play in the backfield. In college, he did as an outside linebacker. Used speed to get to the backfield. Now, a bulked up inside linebacker with multiple Pro Bowls on his resume. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. On play action, Rivers. Blitz coming and down he goes.
Here's Drew Kayser now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. This is taken at the 18. A big hitter that time in the punt game. 66 yards on the boot. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. And the Charger defense now making their way back out onto the field. They have a little something to build off of from last time with a three and out. And what they have to build off of, great confidence right now. Being able to stuff someone on a three and out, you feel like you're in control now. You're doing the dictating. They want to see if that can continue as this game progresses. Will it continue? We'll see. Play action. It's Smith. No chance to get away there for Smith as he goes down. Corey Legion busting through to get him for a loss of six. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you get three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. are going to stop him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. Okay, even just being nice, the last two plays were not very good offensively. So if you're the play caller, was it the team's execution or was it strategy? If it was execution, you continue to call the game the way you're calling it. But if it's strategy, change up what you're doing and figure it out. The Chiefs on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and 19. Out of the gun, Smith. He's got a man complete. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. That one will go down as 33 yards on the third down conversion. Now, that play will end up on the highlights, and you'll see it all over the place. But what you won't see, the offensive line that bought the extra time that allowed for the big completion downfield, those guys made that play possible. taken down. Call it no gain on the play and it'll be second down. And a couple of big boys up front defensively and in that 4-3 those D tackles so vital. Extremely vital. I love how you describe that because if they control things up front often it's over the guard. Sometimes they slide and make it over the center. It's really hard to get a play started then because a lot of teams want to start inside out running the football but against a good 4-3 you may not find any space. And on that play, there was zero space, no gain. The NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. Back now with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. It's the Chiefs in possession of the football as we begin the second quarter. And they're on the move as they face a second down here. from the gun. Smith. 
His throw incomplete. He was looking for Tyreek Hill that time. And yeah, that'll make it third down. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. The Chiefs on third down. Two for five to this point. This is third and ten. Here's Smith, operating from the gun. Jumps it off for Spiller. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Give him six on the play, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Here's Dustin Colquitt now as he's on to punt for Kansas City. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. The Chargers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked Go to so something well, else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. He'll start the drive with a run by Gordon. But despite a little sizzle on the move, he's still tackled shy of the 20. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action and hit them over the top. This is Gordon as they go to him again. And he's able to get up here to the 26. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. And if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. First down. And the pressure will get to him. He goes down. Now there is a flag on the play, but this looks like holding on the offense. Holding offense. Well, they were looking to throw, holding on a big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You're just going to pick up a holding call. Working out of the gun, Rivers. And his throw is incomplete. Tyrell Williams was the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. Second down following the incompletion. Play fake to Gordon. Now Rivers. He's airing it out for Williams. Oh, nearly picked. And yeah, maybe lucky there. This guy doesn't drop many defensively. Third down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum. Big play right in his hands. Unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. And an extra DB here for the Chiefs on third down. Pass situation. Play fake, Rivers. 
He's got his man. It's Williams. A big play there for the Chargers. 45 yards. A nice little completion there by Phillip Rivers. And you and I were reading the article yesterday, fifth grade. Rivers had to do a project where he had to make a poster about his dreams and aspirations. So he clipped out a football player from a magazine article and pasted his face on the helmet. That's what he wanted to be, and it turned out okay. Not so bad. Not so bad at all. Remember, he's the son of a coach. And on that play, I think he made the old coach proud with that completion. Now Gordon on first down. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Wow, that play got shut down in a hurry. As soon as the snap came, you can see defensively they were just closing in. That was going nowhere. Yeah, you count on your offensive line to give you a little bit of space, a little bit of time so you can make a move. There was none there for him. Nifty move. And some space here. And now time is called as we've got an injured charger down there on the field. We'll step aside and come back to Carson after this. So it'll be first down here after the run. Now the first carry for Brandon Oliver. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. All right, here we go. 380. They go again with Oliver. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll, in fact, tackle him behind the line. He lost two there, and it's third down. I'm no offensive mastermind, but of all the guys on the field to block, you might want to stop him. Look, I've got a very simple rule. An unblocked defender is usually your best defender, and he ended up making the play there. The Chargers on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and seven. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Four yards on the pickup there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. Here's Josh Lambeau now for the Charger field goal. It'll be from the right hash, and it'll be a 36-yarder. And Lambeau will put this one through, and they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10-3. So the drive stalls out, but they are able to put three points on the board. Yeah, just a yard or two shorter than an extra point, so no problems converting there.
Now after the main field goal, back out Lambeau to kick this one off. This is taken at the three. And heavy contact. He is knocked down hard. Tyreek Hill making his way back out towards the huddle. A chance maybe here for them to get him more involved. They're down here on the scoreboard, and he's been very quiet. And the silence has been deafening for his team. They don't need that at all. They need fireworks. They need explosive plays. They need him touching the football in any way possible. Maybe go to some jet sweeps. Anything to get him going. Yeah, something to get in the ball. We'll see if they can do it. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he is going to lose yardage here. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Well, forget about finding a lane there. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Probably fortunate he was able to hold on to the football. Second down, here's Smith. Escobar with it, over the middle. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. The Chiefs on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This will be third and five. Here's Smith. And it's complete to Kelsey. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. That goes for a Chiefs first down, 14 yards. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Give this time to the tailback. And he's brought down. Another nice gain. 13 yards that time and another first down. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They have punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. Here's Smith now on second down. And his throw here is incomplete. Gavin Escobar, his big tight end, was the intended receiver. And it's third down. The Chiefs on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This will be third and five. Smith. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. Here's Cairo Santos now for the Chiefs' field goal. From the right hash and call it an even 50 yards.
And this won't get there. Won't be on line either. It's no good. Off to the right. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. And we spotlight Keenan Allen as he gets set to go back to work. Second quarter here. He has only one catch, but they have the lead. you got to think there's going to be more involved at some point. That's what you would expect, but sometimes what defenses do to take away a player of his magnitude, it costs them in other areas. And right now, with them losing, they may have to change their focus, and maybe he will open up a little bit more as the game goes on. Yeah, well, so far, just the single catch. All right, try the 50-yarder and miss it, and now this offense has it first and 10 at the 40. They go play action here on first down. Benjamin with it over the middle. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A very solid gain of 27. And there they went crossing route against the zone defense. What do you think of that? It takes real coordination between the passer and the receiver because you've got to read those zones and where the open spots are and be on the same page with the guy throwing the football. Because sometimes you're throwing it in front of the zone. Sometimes you're throwing it between the zone. Sometimes the receiver's going to just kind of find a spot and what we call sit down and present himself to the quarterback and throw it there. It's a tough read, but when they're in sync, it's really effective. They run it here with Oliver. And a five-yard gain as he's down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Now a second down throw for Rivers. And his throw is going to be incomplete. And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, help force the incompletion. Yeah, but had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. The Chargers on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and five. From the gun, Rivers. Gets it to Benjamin. It's caught. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Rivers to Benjamin. Good for the Charger first down. And that's one of his advantages of a passer is now with his height setting back there in the pocket, firing it over the middle, he can really see everything clearly. It is, and I know that other quarterbacks get it done different ways, all right? You don't have to be his height to make a great play, but what he does is he takes away having to make those slide steps in the pocket to find angles to throw the ball through. He just throws right over the top of it because he can see everything. And sometimes that saves time and gets the ball to a receiver quicker. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Back now 
as I search for my cue card here. There we go. Coming up at halftime, Larry Ridley will join us from Orlando. He'll have highlights and analysis from our first half of play. Well read. Oh, thank you. They'll throw again. Rivers. Got a man. It's Allen for the Charger touchdown. Keenan Allen, a five-yard touchdown. And the Chargers find a way to stretch their lead. And he just did get those feet in there on the side of the end zone. Well done. Probably the exact size foot necessary because I think if he had another half size, that, that catch doesn't count. And he's able to get it in, and it counts for a touchdown. So a challenge coming down from the booth, and that's where these challenges come from, of course, in the final two minutes of the half. Yeah, and now we're going to New York, right? That's command central for the officials. They'll talk, they'll take a look at it, communicate with the referee at the game site, and issue a final decision because they do have the final call now. Lambeau to add on the extra point. It's up and good, and that makes it 17-3. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told, and it ends with the Chargers getting into the end zone. Here's Lambeau out to kick this one away. Tyreek Hill set to return it. <laughs> and his guys are going to start their drive right at the 20-yard line. Spencer Ware and the rest of his offense retaking the field. He's had a good chunk of carries. Problem is for very little success. I don't want to put it all on his shoulders, but that's a big reason they're losing right now. Have to be very careful that he doesn't start pointing fingers. Offensive line obviously trying. The defense is doing a nice job against him today. When it's all said and done, it's all about the guy in the mirror. He has to get it done better going forward. We'll see if he can look and do some soul searching now. Smith on first down. And he's going to be out of bounds right at the 40. A good pick up there of 20 yards. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. Now a first down throw. It's Smith. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. Smith now to throw. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Travis Kelsey, the Pro Bowl tight end, the intended target. And now it's second down. Oh, boy, partner, did that just happen? I've got my hand over my eyes right now because likely, like him, it's going to haunt my dreams, too. He was wide open. How did he overthrow him there? Uh, defensively, just very lucky. You know that they got away with one there. 
They run a draw here on second down. And once again, not much running room, if any at all. Back-to-back -back stops make it third and ten. Throwing on third down, Smith. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 46. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. Here's Dustin Colquitt now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. Phillip Rivers, he is the focal point of our players' spotlight now. And they must have seen something leading up to this one that said, hey, we're going to be able to go deep because they've gone deep with a lot of success. And pick your phrase, pick your code words, your buzzwords, whatever, vertical stretch, deep passes, go routes, right? What, what's that Why? you love? What's that oh, right? Four love? verts. Four verts. All of it working because they're able to find ways to get deep and for him to show off that big, big arm. We see some of that big arm right here. He has been great. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. On first and ten, Rivers. Caught left side, Williams. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. As he'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. So the offense took the timeout. Looks like they're ready to go as we get set to resume the action. Second down now after the pass completion. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. The Chargers on third down. Two for five to this point. Here it's third and two. From the gun, Rivers. And he goes out of bounds across the 40-yard line. 17 yards for the Chargers there as they've got themselves a first down. Do you get the sense, Brandon, that people are trying to retire Antonio Gates? They keep thinking this is almost the end of the line, and then he keeps making catches like the one we just saw there. He's the old reliable, you're right, just one of nine players in the NFL with 100 or more touchdowns. Fresh set of downs here. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Got three, got three. 
Now a play fake here on first down. Over the middle, he's got Tyrell Williams. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A really nice gain of 25 yards. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. on first down. Allen has it left side. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. And we're back. The offense had a chance to talk things over. We'll see what they come up with here on this next play. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. From the left hash, this from 37. And Lambeau will put this one through, and that'll push the lead up to 17. So a good kick there, and they finish off the drive with three. And that should be the goal for an offense, finish each drive with points. So that's a nice job there to come away with at least something. Now after the main field goal, back out Lambeau to kick this one off. Here's the dangerous Tyreek Hill. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. for what will likely be the last play of the first half. The final shot here before break. Smith. And incomplete on the deep ball. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. Thanks, Brandon. I'm Larry Ridley, and welcome to our EA Halftime Report. The Chargers want to continue to give their fans something to cheer about in the second half. The Chiefs haven't played horribly, but will need to improve if they want to win this one. So here we go. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Smith way through the first quarter. They run here with Melvin Gordon, and this four-play drive goes for a touchdown. The Chargers go up by four. Now first and ten, Houston getting to the QB for the sack. This ends up as a loss of nine. First and ten, Benjamin's wide open here on the catch, and he won't be brought down until he makes it to the 33-yard line. Continuing on the drive, Rivers' pass on target to Keenan Allen. And he caps off the six-play drive with the score. That puts them on top by 14. All right, Larry. Indeed, a one-sided affair to this point as we get set for half two.
So both teams have their marching orders and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll be taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team. That Their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? They'll run it now out of the gun. And the window closes quickly. He'll only get up to the 22-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, and you throw it again, then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set them up. Rivers now on second down. Got a man over the middle. It's Williams. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That one good for 13 and a Charger first. And that last reception puts him over 150 yards now on the game, Charles. And now it's not just execution. It's not just performance. It's a mental aspect that's going on. Because right now, he's got the defense so much on their heels. Got them looking at each other. Who's going to cover this guy? And what type of coverage can we put out there to try and slow him down? On play action, Rivers. And that's complete to the right side. It's Allen. A gain of six there on first. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. Play fake, Rivers. Right side catch, this is Gates. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. Nice idea, nice concept there. Line him up on the left side of the formation, let him sneak his way across, coming back underneath. Put it in his hands. Let him get a few more yards after the catch, too. Great way to utilize a tight end on the drag route. A first down throw here for Rivers. Hunter Henry brings it in. And he's brought down. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Brandon had a first-round grade on Hunter Henry coming out of Arkansas for his ability to get downfield and create openings, create space, and he proved his worth as a rookie tight end in 2016. 34 catches, led all rookie tight ends in the league. So here we go, first and 10 now. Rivers now to throw on first down. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. Give him a couple on the catch, it's second and eight. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. And here comes play number six on this drive. Rivers again. And this complete to Henry over the middle. And he'll go down at the 28. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. 
When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. They're looking at third and a few inches. Set. 380. Off the play fake here, Rivers. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. A pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? Maybe you let that one go, right? Because you can see the lost yardage about to develop, but that goes against every instinct of a receiver. They're taught to catch everything, so it's really hard to be mad at him and yell at him for trying to make that play. And Lambeau will put this one through. And that will extend their lead even further. So three field goals for him here. And this last one helps him stretch out the lead. And he's been solid as usual. And this is what you need to do. Make sure you get points out of every possession. And so far, they've done a nice job of that. the main field goal back out Lambeau to kick this one off and this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line time to spotlight the quarterback Alex Smith and I guess the question Charles is what's the formula for keeping him better protected because as we see the protection it's struggle and normally what you get is renewed determination when <laughs> when the big guy gets hit that usually sparks people. Hey, we can't let this happen anymore. They take it personally. He's not supposed to be on the ground, but that hasn't been the case so far in this game. So maybe they've got to figure out how do they get rid of the ball faster to help out the offensive line so he doesn't get hit as much. And we'll see if they can keep him off the ground now going forward. Trying to run the option right side. Smith. He finds an opening past the 40. Cuts it out to the sideline. And he'll take this all the way down to the 15-yard line. A big-time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. Well, hello. I mean, it took him a while to get him a rep, but that's quite an introduction to this game. And not just hello. How about goodbye to the defense as he went past him? Big time run on his first carry of the game. So the run gets him the first, and now they operate with a fresh set of downs. Here's Smith on the option left. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. I don't think there's any doubt that if it's me, I'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know, defenders, if they get a free shot at the QB, they want to take it, and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for a loss. Offense needs something here on second down. It is second and long. Now a handoff here to his running back. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. Five yards on the pickup. And just like that, it's third down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. A shotgun snap for Smith. That's complete right around the eight. 
And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defensive side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. And the offense inside the five here at the four. It's first and goal. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. After a play like that, it should be congratulations all the way around, I think, because if you can stop a big fullback like that, that's not easily done. Yeah, he does not go down easily. You're right, but he did there. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. On second down, here's Smith. And with a flag down, he goes down. So they're able to sack him. Now the penalty looks like it could be holding. Let's find out. So apparently some grabbing of the jersey there on the O-line. Yeah, just look in the interior, and that's where the penalty occurred. They run a draw here on second down. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Spencer Ware, 15 yards. And the Chiefs are able to draw a bit closer. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard and you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. It's up. It's true as they get back in it a bit here. It's now 23 to 10. That time, a six-play drive, and it's finished off by a Spencer Ware touchdown run. Santos out now. He'll kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Phillip Rivers now gears up to lead the offense on the field. So, Charles, there are the numbers. What's happened here? Defensive adjustments that's caused him to sort of fall off a bit? I think so. That has to happen. You've got to make some changes because in the first half, they were pretty effective. But the second part is sometimes when you're doing really well, you get off your game a little bit. You get off the gas a little. You're like, okay, we've got this thing. And that's not necessarily the case. Maybe right now, someone just needs to tell a joke in the huddle, loosen things up, and get their big guy going again. They run. It's Oliver. And he'll get this one across the 20, but only up to about the 21. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. Second down, eight. Rivers to throw it. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He was looking for Travis Benjamin that time. And it's third down. Hey, 
The Chargers on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This is third and eight. Working out of the gun, Rivers. And they can't get the long connection as it falls incomplete. Here's Drew Kayser now as he's on to punt for L.A. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. This is taken at the 15. They'll call that a 61-yard punt. He got all of that one. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. They go play action here on first down. Caught Kelsey, left side. And he'll go out of bounds across the 35-yard line. First down for the Chiefs, solid chunk of yardage, 17 on the play. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right, safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Off of play action, here's Smith. He's going to air one out. And this is caught at the 20. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Travis Kelsey, 62 yards. And the Chiefs are able to get this back within a touchdown. Well, this offense only mustered three points in the first half on that field goal. They picked up the pace now, two third-quarter touchdowns. Hey, you remember that appearance we had last week in front of that crowd, and, and they asked yeah. about halftime adjustments and all that that was going on. And remember what I said, it's not always an adjustment at halftime. Sometimes just remembering the game plan and playing better, tuning it up, and just working through it methodically, they got it done in this case. Of course, I'll always remember that appearance because I had on a brown belt with black shoes, and you pointed that out in front of the crowd. So thanks for that. I said that out loud? You did. Uh, my bad. And the lead will shrink to six. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. Santos out now. He'll kick it away. On the return, it's Isaiah Burrs. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Phillip Rivers now gears up to take the offense back out there. He's been pretty solid, pretty consistent. Just the one touchdown pass, but I think he's managed the game well, no? I would agree with you, and that's what you're looking for out of your field leader, making sure that you're playing well and not making any big mistakes. Oftentimes, that's how you're judged, mm -hmm. how big a mistake and when it occurs. No interception so far. They'll like that. I just want you to know that you agreeing with me, that's going to get me through this third and fourth quarter. Are you touched? <laughs> He's patting his heart, boys and girls. He's touched. Dispatch. First down, Rivers. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. 
One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them, and not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they're going to have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And a nice run past the 30-yard line there. Pretty good running there, nine yards. Sets up a third and one. In my book, that's running the ball well, but with intelligence. How about him keeping the clock moving, staying in bounds? Yeah, even though it's the third quarter, you're thinking ahead, aren't you? This is where your running game can really help you with a lead in the second half. I agree totally. It's not just end-of-the-half situations that you worry about the clock. It's throughout the game, and with a lead, stay in bounds. Make them fight harder to try and catch you. The Chargers on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. They're up against a third and one situation. From the gun, Rivers. And he's got a man open. That's Allen. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Rivers saying, welcome back, Mr. Allen. It's a Charger first down. Going old reliable there to the slot on third down. And the slot position has become the bane of just about every defense's existence because how do you cover? Do you go with the bigger guy to try and use size? Can you go to try go with the quicker guy and sometimes even get out quick there? Very difficult to match up with that slot receiver. That's why they keep going back to him. And he's had the hot hand. Here's a carry for Oliver. And some room to roam now. And he'll be out of bounds, able to take it down to the 40. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. I absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. I always talk about slot receivers. And they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. Operating from the gun, Rivers. Benjamin with it over the middle. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. They go play action. Rivers. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. And here comes play number six on this drive. Throwing again, Rivers on second and 10. Now they set up the screen, that's complete. And he's brought down. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. When you run a screen pass really well, you gotta like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. Defense comes to the line now, first and ten. Now the former Oregon man, this is Kenyon Barner. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Kenyon Barner, a 16-yard touchdown run. And the Chargers are going to add on to their lead. A 
good sustained drive there in this third quarter, capping it off with a touchdown to give them a nice two-score advantage. It was actually a fun one to watch, wasn't it? I mean, for me, seeing the mix of what they did, how they moved the ball downfield, very sharp, too. Each and every play seemed to be executed with, with great dispatch. And they'll get set here looking for the two-point conversion. From the shotgun, it's Rivers over the middle, and it's incomplete. Protection was great. He had time to set up a campsite. But in the secondary, though, they were ready. And I think that in most places on the field, if you have that much time to throw the ball, Someone's going to shake free and you'll find an open receiver. But condensed near the goal line on a two point conversion, all that exit, you know, there's not any extra field. So it kind of closes in on them and that allows you to cover a little bit better. Here's Lambeau out to kick this one away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and he'll take over at the 25. And now here comes Kansas City. Last time they were out, they scored. Still trailing here, though, so some work to do. But it's okay in terms of mindset. Because they scored the last time, they're not quite as worried about being down on the scoreboard because now their confidence is a little bit higher. They feel like they've got something going and they feel like they can attack again and put more points on the board. Are you scoreboard watching if you're the offense or are you just focused on this drive? It, it, we wouldn't be telling the truth if we said that they didn't scoreboard watch. Everyone does it to some extent, but you've got to set it aside right now and just focus on this series. That'll take care of the scoreboard if they punch it into the end zone. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage to be found. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at the StubHub Center in Carson. It's the Chiefs with a football butt with work to do on the scoreboard. They trail as we start quarter number four. And the offense behind the chains here a touch on second and 11. to throw with Smith. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. The Chiefs on third down. They're right at about the league average. 40%. 4 for 10. This is third and 11. Throwing on third down, Smith. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Corey Legion able to get him down for a loss of 11 on the play. And it'll be fourth down. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again.
Here's Dustin Colquitt now, standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. This is fielded at the 27. And when it's said and done, it's a 58-yard punt. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. quickly he gets it across the 35 to the 36 yard line a gain of three second down brand is all about pace and tempo now for them they've got the advantage so i'm gonna put musical terms for you you don't want to go prestissimo that's too quick too lively right but you also don't want to slow it down too much you don't want to go lento what you really want to be is moderato uh, nice and even uh, nice and steady get those gains and close out the game i think that chicken parm from last night's gone to your head <laughs> able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Give him 12 yards there. The Chargers have a first down. As many games as the two of us do, I would hope that one day we'll be able to solve this riddle. Why is it on a hot day that one team has more trouble with the heat than another? And especially when you can't stop a guy running the ball. You know it's September in the booth, though, when you and I have both removed our coats, and those <laughs> were gone in the first quarter. They were gone in the first quarter, and what we're watching now is a defense mentally giving in and sagging a little bit because they haven't been able to stop it. They'll run it now out of the gun. Gordon loses the football. It's loose. And I think the Chiefs have it. They do. Partner, that one looked like it was over. I mean, they had control, had the football, and the defense had to make a play in order to keep them in the game. That's exactly what they did. And now that door ajar, two-score game, so hold on here, not done in the fourth. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Recovery. Smith. He's got Wilson, middle of the field. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. Holding offense. Well, your QB's been sacked four times in the game already. And they're the holding goal. And you know darn well the offensive line coach is frustrated and upset that he's been hit that many times already. He doesn't really care that they hold now. Just don't let him get hit anymore. On first down, they'll run it on the draw play. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. Four yards on the pickup. It'll be second down. But if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. They run a draw here on second down. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Four yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have to contend with a third and 13. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. 
Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. Did they maybe play that too safely on third down? I know you don't want to just throw a ball blindly downfield, but that didn't help them a whole lot. I think they probably said if it's open, take the shot. If not, get something safe because we do have fourth down to try and pick it up. Here's Dustin Colquitt now as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And a fumble last time. Ball security. Talk about it all the time in the National Football League. They've got to be better at it on this drive. Don't you think that when every team gets together for the first time, I don't care if it's OTAs, mini camps, first and first day of camp in the regular season, ball security comes up about what the second sentence of the coach's yeah. address and those are so many drills focus on that all the time and they do drills to make it even tougher to simulate game situations doesn't always work out though on first and ten rivers got a man over the middle it's williams and he's going to get this one across the 30 yard line that one good for 13 and a charger first Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. So the offense has it first and 10. the gun. Rivers over the middle. He's got Tyrell Williams. And look out. A big hit to the shoulder pads. Took him right off his feet at the 38-yard line. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Now Rivers going to give to Gordon on the draw. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. It's always been funny to me, Brandon, when coaches always talk about on hot days like the one we have here, well, it's hot for both teams. But when one team has the advantage, when one team is running the ball really well and closing things out, it's hotter for the defensive side, and they sag a lot quicker. Yeah, they say the dog days of August, the heat we're seeing here today, dog days of September, and the advantage right now on the offensive side. Ready. Lock the team. Ready. Now a play fake here on first down. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Good positioning, and it's picked off. And he will take this all the way down to the 38-yard line. Their passing game has been spectacular this afternoon. Finally, a win for the defense. You think maybe there was an adjustment there. Finally gained a measure of, I don't even know if you call it revenge, but got a play done against him, and that's been difficult for them all game long. Spencer Ware, the rest of his offense, retaking the field. And after a sluggish start, he's really bounced back. The numbers bear that out. And you're a baseball guy, partner. How many at-bats over the course of a baseball season? Oh, boy. Four about in three, a game. Yeah, about the four in a four game. Four times 162. 350 or so, right? Sometimes it takes a while for a guy to get going. That's my point. It's not the first few carries. You don't worry about that. As they go along, get that guy lathered up, get those blocking assignments down. Those two-yard gains turn into bigger gains as the game moves along. Really nice starting field position here for the offensive unit. After the interception, here's Smith. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. Melvin Ingram in there to get him his second sack now in the afternoon. 
Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness of that defensive line is eating them alive. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. To throw on second down is Smith. And he's got room. Room to run inside the 40. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. That one good for 14 yards. And that'll make it third down. So third down, they need to get to the 28 for a first. Out of the gun, Smith. And he can't quite pick it. No interception so far. That probably should have been their first, but at least it's fourth down. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted. And if it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. And a tough ask here. They're going to go for it on fourth down and nine. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And that is incomplete. Andy Reid went for it, but it won't pan out. And the Charger defense stands tall, and they get the football back. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations teams get the ball back and that miracle does occur so they can't let that dream go just yet they have to get stout on defense here yeah right now really hoping for a turnover Shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. He was looking for Antonio Gates that time. That'll bring up second down. Something to think about with these Chargers. They had four losses a season ago when leading with three minutes or less. So you think that their fans right now, they're hopeful, but not necessarily expecting <laughs> it to go their way. Yeah, not counting their chickens just yet. Rivers going to turn and give this one to his running back, Gordon. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. It's a loss of two, now third down. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. The Chargers on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This is third down and 12. Operating from the gun, Rivers. And he's taken down, a chief sack. Well, they went with the nickel. They throw in an extra defensive back. Coverage was very good. Yeah, it was exactly as you would expect. A passing down, you bring in the nickel package, just as you described, the coverage was excellent and allowed one of their linemen to end up getting to the quarterback. Here's Drew Kayser now. He's been terrific so far.
He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Oh, he shifts past him. Oh, and now he bowls him over. We'll call that a 49-yard punt, but a net of just 39 following the 10-yard return. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory, but the other guys held up. <laughs> they didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? <laughs> That was planned going into it, not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold But he up. trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much, and I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own side. Now we'll see what his offense can do. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. Give him nine there on the first down completion. At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. So they complete the pass, and now they face a second down. From the gun, here's Smith. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. It's a lot of contact going on there. And in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. And I see an extra defensive back on the field. Little surprise here on third and one. Smith now. From the gun, he'll throw. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. Fourth quarter, every drive's so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. Smith. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he had been able to haul that one in. Second and ten, Smith again. And this one is incomplete. The best receivers we know always tease their quarterbacks to, hey, no matter what you do, you cannot overthrow me. Well, guess what? That's exactly what happened on that play. Normally, they time it up pretty well, but on that one, he just overshot him. Smith on third down underneath to Spiller and he's got the first down before being taken down at the 46 that goes for a Chiefs first down 14 yards but correct me if I'm wrong yeah you're down two scores I don't think you need to rush just yet but you can't take your time either yeah even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense you have to up the tempo up the urgency maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball the offense lining up first and ten. Now here's a whistle as flags come in. And we'll check out the call. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. 
Still first down. And here comes play number six on this drive. Smith throwing again. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. It'll be a three-yard gain, and that'll make it second and 12. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. And they're behind the sticks here a bit now, dealing with a second and 12. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. Time for a break. We'll come back and see this one out after this. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. An extra defensive back on the field for the Chargers now on third down. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the chief linemen might have moved. So that one will be accepted. Still third down. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. A shotgun snap for Smith. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And he can't quite pick it. No interception so far. That probably should have been their first. But at least it's fourth down. That was a dangerous throw towards the end zone. Boy, did it hang up there forever. Wanted to run up there and pull it down out of the sky. Yeah, it felt like it really should have been intercepted. Lucky to have that one back. You've got to be more careful when you're that close to the goal line. But how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? Encroachment, the defense. Yeah, he got a little aggressive too early. And he did, wanting that quick takeoff as the ball was snapped, but I think sometimes those big guys on offense, they're pretty cagey too, right? They make those little sudden moves or those little subtle moves that get you to jump. Looks like the offense is going to take another shot here. They're going on fourth and 13. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the chief linemen might have moved. They'll break the huddle here and go for it. This is fourth down. Right 
Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And it's complete to Kelsey. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. It's a big play there for the Chiefs. 31 yards. Smith now to throw. And is caught right at the 10-yard line. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Smith throwing middle, but it's incomplete. His favorite target, Travis Kelsey, the intended receiver. And it's second down. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. Throwing again is Smith. And he can't hang on. That's definitely going to be one he wishes he had back. Incomplete in the end zone. All right, Captain. It's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodge two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think they're going to try and dial up on third and goal? Well, knowing them and knowing what we've just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you've kind of run out of your running plays. Fire another one into the end zone. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the chief linemen might have moved. That well, was a third and somewhat manageable now, not so manageable. Exactly, because you had a play call on that you felt like, hey, this could go quick, and it doesn't take much to get it done. Now, you got to start thinking about a little bit of a deeper route type of a call, especially if you want to throw it. They got to have six here. It's third and goal. Again, Smith. That almost intercepted. Would have been a huge pick in the end zone, but as it stands, that brings up fourth. How about the defensive stand here from first and goal, three straight incompletion. Yeah, I think people are wondering why didn't they try and run it at least once in there. But once the first incompletion happened, it's almost like they were committed to throwing the ball from then on out. The field goal doesn't help. They're going to go for the six here on fourth and goal. They snap it to Smith. And no, it's incomplete. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt. And that'll be just about all she wrote for this one. Well, they had to take one final shot at the end zone, but now things are looking really bleak. And I agree with that totally. You had to take the shot if they did score. You know, whether you call it a miracle or not, you line up, onside kick, get the ball back, throw one more in the end zone, who knows? Had to take the chance, it just was unsuccessful. And tough starting field position here. Now Rivers going to give it off to Gordon. And he's up past the 10 to about the 12. Now here's a defensive timeout called by the Chiefs. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. They run it here with Gordon. And he is knocked down from the side. And a 
Chiefs are going to signal for and be granted another timeout. That'll be their second, so one more chance to stop the clock here, and we'll be back. All right, so the timeout over, and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. The Chargers on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, 4 for 10. This is third and eight. Here's Rivers. And this is going to be incomplete. Here's Drew Kayser now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. <laughs> 51 yards on the punt there. And that will come the offense as they take over. Out now the Chiefs offensive unit ready to do battle again. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball, and then all of a sudden it just stalled out. So we'll see what they can do here, Charles. And it's always easy to second guess when you don't get it on a fourth down try. But they had to like the feeling that they had going on offense. They want to continue to see if they can capture that again on this drive and maybe get in the same position. Yeah, and that's, I mean, like I said, they were moving the football. It's not like they went four and out, so I don't think it's a, a deal where the offense doesn't have confidence. No, I agree with you totally on that one. If, if anything, they may have gained more confidence. Okay, they stopped us once. That's all right. Let's keep moving it. Make them do it again. Finding some room at midfield. And he slides to avoid the hit. A good pick up there at 22. Counting down at 30 seconds remaining. And he clocks it with just over 30 seconds left. And still needing 10 yards, second down. Smith operating from the gun. And he will find a man here as Thomas comes open. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10 yard line. Now that's one they hate. The ball's got to come all the way back. So that's an explosive play, a really explosive play that gets wiped out, and they have to start over after the penalty. The offense behind the chains after the infraction. It's now third down and 14. Here's Smith. And eventually he's taken down here. Great coverage downfield, resulting in a sack. And a timeout coming in. This will be their final one with 10 seconds remaining. So the offensive unit called the T.O. And now we are ready to resume play. And they're going to go for this. Just one for three so far on fourth down tries. They're trying again. Now Smith, he's going to let it fly. And that is 
is incomplete, stopping the clock with five seconds to go. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and it looks like the Chargers are going to win this thing. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about Slim and none? Well, Slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none? Yes, exactly right. And we're hitting the end of this one, and it looks to probably be the final play. A uh, kneel down here from Rivers, and that should be it. Well, as always, partner, an extreme pleasure to share a booth with you. I, I have to say, I am impressed at your discipline because you came here and you said you were not going to eat any of the media buffet. <laughs> you made it to the end. You didn't consume a single calorie. I appreciate that. What you missed is me going to the concession stand outside of your eyesight and getting it you done that way. Look, I mean, they were serving the good stuff. I had to do it. Oh, man, but you're, you're svelte in good shape, but, yeah, you cheated a little bit. We'll let it slip. I appreciate that. Always a pleasure to work with you. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. From Southern California, so long, everybody.